Food for Kids is a thriving program that reaches out to children and families during the summer. Tonight's guest for Community Conversations with Charles Christian is the founder and director of this program, Sheila Gilbert. Charles. Thanks very much, Sarah. Sheila, it is a pleasure to have you here today. Thank you. It's and, a pleasure to be here. Well, and I'd like for you to start by just telling us when it started and why you started Food for Kids. We started in 2008. Wow. Okay. Uh, wh why'd you start it? Why, what's, uh, what was your purpose? What's your goal? Our purpose was to make sure no child goes hungry. It just happened one day, my husband and I were sitting outside eating lunch, and some kids approached us and said they were hungry, and God compelled our heart to reach out to them and make sure no child in the St. Joseph area was hungry just immediately at that moment. Wow, well how do you, uh, how are funds uh, raised and all that? I'm, you're a nonprofit organization. So yes, we are. People can donate food or funds or whatever. How does that work? Mostly everything is by listening donors. The children were our biggest advertisers. Okay. Um, they were bringing other children because they knew where some free food was. Okay. Good. And that's really how we started. Is it mostly in the summer? Does it work during school year as well, or is it mostly in the summertime? It's mostly in the summertime. And then we have a big turkey giveaway for the community. Okay. We normally give away 365 turkeys with bacon and tissue and paper towels. And since COVID, it has become a drive through and it's been very successful. We have a lot of business people here in St. Joe love to come out and support us and they give out various things from their companies. That's wonderful. That's really grown then over these last yes, uh, 14 sir, years has. or so. That's amazing. Well, uh, now what uh, happens? I know you have gatherings in the summer where the kids come and I know you do more than just feed. You guys have some fun. Tell us uh, some of the things that you do in those gatherings. Some of the things we do is teach the children to love Jesus okay. and to be thankful and grateful. And they're gonna need that as they go along in life. And we teach the children how to respect their parents and the community. We also um, teach the children to be independent because we have a lot of senior volunteers that come out and support this endeavor that we try to apply in the children's lives. Okay, well, and then as they do that, I'm sure you end up connecting with a lot of parents over the years as well, not just the children. Right? Yes, sir, we do. Not only parents, the grandparents as well. That's amazing. And mm -hmm. uh, what would be, what, what are some of the latest uh, maybe projects that you are working on right now for this summer? with uh, kids or with families? Well, the latest projects that we're working on now, we will be giving out underwear okay. for some of our children. Mm -hmm. We have a wonderful agencies here in St. Joe's that support the kids when they go to school, like AFLCO with the shoes and Salvation Army mm -hmm. with the um, school supplies and mm -hmm other agencies they uh, can't think her name on Lafayette she does sure. the clothes and right. it's just a wonderful thing uh, that's going on in the community and we also have we're working on projects uh, along with uh, Youth Alliance if the children need uh, credit points they can always come out and volunteer mm -hmm. but our main project is we have three beautiful little girls who lost their mother mm -hmm. last weekend mm -hmm. uh, she was found deceased on the porch. Mm -hmm. The ages are 10, 8, and 6. Mm -hmm. And these little girls are in need of school clothes, school supplies, and shoes. And my heart just want to ask anyone who will have a heart to help these children just get at least eight or nine days worth of new clothes to go to school mm -hmm. because their father is raising them and he is a single parent mm -hmm. and he's a young man. And you mm -hmm. don't find too many young dads sure. raising three little girls like that. They're very intelligent. If you see them, you just fall in love with mm -hmm. them. But right now they are in need of a lot of love, mm -hmm. a lot of comfort and a lot of support. Good. So to do to, to be involved, let's say to help uh, if someone uh, feels 
uh, led to help, they can just reach out uh, to, they can Google Food for Kids and find your number, right? Yes, sir, I'm in the community. Uh, they can find me any day on, from Tuesday through Friday on 19th and Massaney at Food for Kids, or they can reach me mm -hmm. through phone number, okay. 713-514. 2843 or my website Great. or they can mail me at P.O. Box 151 okay St. Joseph Missouri all right so you you have ways of contact how what is your estimate uh, each summer of uh, about how many kids pass through uh, this program I'm sure it's uh, big. we prepare a hundred and fifty <laughs> lunches a day and we had to cut down on that this month a couple of months when we started due to the school, had summer school and due to COVID, but we still get rid of our lunches. The children are still hungry. Mm -hmm. And if they don't come, the parents will come and get them, other grandparents will come and get them. We have a great turnout on Tuesdays and Fridays. Good. For some reason, Tuesdays and Fridays, Food for Kids is a big party. Wow. And uh, no electronic instruments are allowed on the property. Okay. We want the children to laugh and jump and run and have fun and do what children's supposed to do. There you go. It keeps them from taking a lot of medication. Sure. We like for them to sweat. We give them plenty fruit, plenty <laughs> water, plenty juice, and we have lots of activities that children should play and the things that we've done when we was kids, we introduce it to the children and they love it. That's a wonderful gift. Well, Sheila Gilbert, thank you so much for the work you do and thank for you. being uh, on this uh, community conversation this week. We'll have another special guest next week and we'll have more news after the break. Thank you.